we're turning on the radio and you hear all these battle reports. In um, Duke, students have seized the administration building and they have one hour to get out. In Madison, the National Guard has moved onto the campus and scuffling is taking place between mobs and the National Guard. In, uh, in the CCNY, people have seized the administration building. It's like battle reports, I was just hoping. In Penn State, people have seized the administration building. When are we going to hear that? The National Guard is going to be brought to this campus to put down the rebellion here. I don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe a week from now, maybe a month from now. Because the kind of plot it's in, the kind of plot that it is, is a human plot where we all face the same we all face the same conditions and we're all respond the same way. And when Berkeley goes off, thousands of young kids understand that immediately. That makes so much sense. You have to explain that to me. I understand that. I understand why people seize buildings at Columbia. Because I was a student and I know what it's like to be a student. And I know the kind of thing a student is. So what it's, 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 like, it's like TV becomes then, in a funny sort of way, and that's why they got they, eventually they got to they gotta control the TV. Because TV becomes, in a funny sort of way, the communicating link and the revolutionary organizer. Because because Berkeley happens in 1964, people take an administration building. All over the country, young kids say, hey, I dig that. I, di I want to make a Berkeley. What America tries to get us to do is work for external rewards. You know, we work for money for a paycheck to support a family. Or we uh, go to school to get grades, to get a degree. To get, it's all, everything's external. You know, and it's tied very much to Christianity, which says that, you know, you live your life and then uh, you go to heaven when you're dead. And it's tied very much to capitalism, which is tied like to wage labor. You work for a salary. Everything is external. Everything is like, you know, working for a goal, but not enjoying your work. And one of the great differences between the society and the youth movement that's growing up is that the youth, youth movement wants to do things in and of themselves for love. You know, dope is the help for that, right? You know, I mean, dope kind of equalizes everything. You want to you enjoy what you're doing right then and there, you know, not work eight hours. I mean, you dig, like, my father worked all year round for a two-week vacation? All year round for a two-week vacation. And my whole life is a vacation. My whole life's a vacation. This, this country is so rich that it doesn't know what to do with its goods, that it's got to create all this advertising to get people to buy goods they don't need, and it makes goods so that they'll break after a year, so you got to buy replacements. That's how sick this country is. This country's so sick that its, that its existence economically is based on war. It's based on the military. Its existence is based on the military. Its existence is based on cons consumption. You know, if sane people had control, like me, had control of the economy, if we had control of the economy, I mean, everything could be free. There's enough food to feed the world five times over. What's this so the economy is like, it's like ridiculous. And what we're creating is an entire new idea about what man is, what the family is, what the nation is, what work is. It's a whole new revolutionary idea. And it totally breaks down the ideas that we've inherited from the West, that we've inherited from capitalism, from Christianity. And that's, that's the incredible revolutionary contradiction that exists in America today. I, I just want to repeat that, I, that I, I, I'm sort of a self-contradiction, but standing up here and just rapping and everyone kind of listening to me, because I was putting down professors, but doing the same thing, and here I come and do it too. So that's why, I, 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 but I want to say that I'm conscious of that, and uh, I don't like it, and I think it's... And I think it's too bad that it, it took me coming here to get this everyone here, you know? Because now that you're all here, maybe there's an opportunity to get together and do something, at least decide not to do something. That's deciding something, at least. Because the, the, the place is organized in a way that you never come together like this, and you're divided competing for grades, and you're divided into, you know, against one another. And so it's fortunate that my coming here coincided, what, coincided, something like that, with... Um, <laughs> Coincided, coincided with, with everybody being here, but now you got to take it from here, and uh, you know I don't like you know I don't exist. I mean I'm I'm not important to what's going on right now, uh, and I mean I'm a contradiction if I'm saying follow what I say or do what I say. I'm saying I'm trying to speak to each one of you, and I hope I'm setting something off. If I'm setting something off, and you'll know what to do. You'll know the action to take, and you'll take that action. And I was just like a, a historical accident. So this historical action says, bye.